10 hours of sleep? You're lucky. I know, it was weird. I didn't even mean to fall asleep. It just happened. <laughs> and fell asleep waiting to free text back again. Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> What's too hard for you guys today? There's a quite a glow happening. You look like Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start jogging in place. He's our face fit Jesus. Face fit. Wow, I love my shirt today. You, it's perfect. You look, you look like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> not that many halos today. Maybe I'll have them. Yeah, they should have those halos in. <laughs> I'm going to wear them. I can find a spot. You can find a spot for sure. All right. And let's drop down bootstrappers. Next, bootstrappers, good morning. Drop those hips down. Keep those fingers on your toes. Good. Up and down. This feels so weird just teaching you. That's right. <laughs> so the weirdest part is I have like three people standing behind me, staring, <laughs> which makes it even more uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> We're going to call today's workout. We're going to call it, uh, I don't know, uh, something with a T. What, we got to think of something with a T. Good. All right. And let's drop your body to the ground. Let's go into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good. And let's start pedaling those feet. Pick up those calf muscles. I think we need a little bit of our calf muscles today, right, Austin? Yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Pedal, pedal. Three pedals. One, two, and three. And push yourself into upward facing dog. Nice job. And looking over your right shoulder. Good. And over your left shoulder. Nice. And let's swing your right leg forward, coming into pigeon pose. Stretch those hips out. Good. And driving your chest to the ground when you're ready to big exhale. Nice. And walk your body over to the right. Torso, I should say. And over to the left. Good job, nice. And come back to neutral position, push your chest up to the sky, and let's swing your left leg out, coming into a groin stretch so you can get onto your right foot. Yeah, there you go, or right knee. And let's just lean back and forth, front to back. That toe can raise up to the sky as your heels go back. Look at that, everyone's jumping on now, good. Back and forth, and let's try to keep that foot on the ground on this next rock back and forth. Nice. Good. And switching sides. Let's bring that left leg forward, coming into pigeon pose. Good job. Sit up nice and tall. Take a big inhale on the exhale. Let's drive your chest to the ground. Good, and then walk your body over to the left side. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> You're gonna wait 45 minutes. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's gonna be a Yeti passing through. <laughs> Good, walk it over to the right side. Nice. Neutral position. Good. Chest up nice and tall, and then swing that right leg out to the side. Bring that left foot back. Nice. And we're just going to rock back and forth. Toes are coming up as you reach your hips back. Nice. Good. And let's try to keep that foot on the ground on this next rep. Good. Nice. So a couple reps back and forth. Good. Come back, neutral position. Let's bring both feet forward, coming into that goblet squat stretch. So gently pressing on your knees. I feel like a celebrity right now. I'm just trying to ignore that. <laughs> Good. Two cameras. Place your left hand on the ground, right hand up to the sky. See, you're in the workout clothes, right? You should jump in. Um, <laughs> Steve was working on me. He's like, I have to rest. Switching side. <laughs> I'm saying, I got saved today. <laughs> Good. Let's come up to standing position. Good. Let's take a couple steps. You're going to bring your knee into your 
chest. And move yourself into a forward lunge. Good. And let's reach your arms up to the sky. And push back. A couple steps. Opposite knee into the chest. Good. Forward lunge. Hands up to the sky. Let's go one more on each side. Couple steps. Knee into the chest. Lunge forward. Hands up. Nice. Couple steps. Last one. Knee into the chest. Good. Forward. You're going to be sore tomorrow because you can't stand back because you're by yourself. Right? I don't stand back. Good. And then let's go. Yeah, that's true. I don't do <laughs> Some days. When I teach, I do for sure. That's good. It's hard to talk and do it at the same time. Right? Back and forth. Back and forth. Nice. And let's move it into karaoke. two dumbbells today. Watson's going to drop down on his mat. First movement is going to be a chest press with a leg raise today. So he's opting for a nice good sized pair of dumbbells. He's going to be on his back. Low back is going to be planted in the ground. Palms are going to be facing forward. Beautiful. He's going to move to a neutral position. Head is on the ground. And as he chest presses, he's going to lift the legs up and then down. Beautiful. All right, we're going to start off with 30 seconds for this first round, and then we'll build up from there. Sound good? All right, let's do it. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Good. All right, chest press. Beautiful. Legs up. If you have a tight low back, remind yourself to really press that low back into the ground. You can put a little bend in your knees. We have 15 seconds to go. Nice job. Head is planted the whole time. Nice. Good. Let's go. Five more seconds. You can get one more rep in. Nice. Three, two, one, and time. All right. Second movement. Can you write me what? What is it? Snatch to front lunge. Ah, beautiful. Snatch to front lunge. All right. So he's going to snatch his dumbbell up to the sky. He's only going to hang on to one dumbbell. As soon as he snatches it up, he's going to lunge forward. You have the option to do the opposite leg, or you could alternate legs on this one, or stay on the same side for both your legs and your arms. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. 30 seconds now. What's that? 30 seconds each arm. Yes. Sound good? Good. Watson opting in two lunges. So a lunge on each side. Good job. Nice. 15 seconds and then we'll switch arms. You can stay on the same arm, same leg. Good. Five more seconds. Nice. And switching side. Second side. Here we go. Ready, set, and let's go. Good. Remind yourself, keep your bicep in line with your ear. Try to have little to no bend in your elbow. Press that dumbbell up to the sky. If that's too much, you're going to always snatch it and then bring it down to your shoulder and then go for your lunge. 15 seconds. Good. Five seconds. And time. All right. Next movement. Last one in this block. What do we got, Watson? So we got forearm. Oh, yeah. Arm of additional plank of the dip. All right. So we're going to start down on our forearms. Stack our arms front and back. 
Beautiful. Watson's going to get in the plank position, and he's going to rotate to his first side, staying on his forearm. Back arm is going to come up. His hips are going to drop down, and then he's going to rotate towards the other direction. Can you face the other way so the folks at home can see what your side position looks like, too? Beautiful. All right, so he's down on his forearms. He's going to rotate. Optional, lifting that top leg up, and then he's going to drop his hips down and come back up. If you need a little less, you can keep the foot, top foot stacked. Beautiful. Or you can keep it up. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. We're going 30 seconds and we're alternating sides. Nice. Good job. And again, staying on your forearms. We're not coming up to our hands for this one at all. Good. Hips go down, hips go up. Rotate. Stacking those arms front to back. You have 10 more seconds. You can get one more on each side. Nice job. Just enough time for the second side. Perfect. And time. Nice. All right. Let's do it. Round number two. Watson's got to turn the air conditioning on. It's a little warm for him. Party one. one. All right. Let's do it. Chest press with the leg raise. All right. Let's do it. We're going to have a little bit of time. 40 seconds this round. Here we go. Starting in three. Two, one, and let's do it. Good. His legs are off the ground, low back is planted. He's got one chest press, one leg raise. Good. And again, same thing, if your low back is tight, you can keep that slight bend in the knee and you can go a little higher up on the bottom position with your legs. Nice, halfway, 20 seconds to go. Again, same thing with this one, you can always pyramid up where you go two, two, three, three, four, four, so on. You have 10 more seconds. Watson's adding that pyramid in. You've got five seconds to go. Nice job. Three, two, one, and time. Beautiful. All right, standing position. Let's keep this one 30 seconds aside. That seems like a good number, right? Okay. All right, let's do it. One snatch to a forward lunge. One or two, your choice, starting in three, two, one, and let's go. In case you're wondering, Gina's alarm didn't go off, so just got a message. <laughs> Good thing she wasn't teaching outside today, you'd be in trouble. Good. 15 seconds to go. Good job. Again, Watson's alternating legs on his lunges, but staying on the same arm. He's got three seconds, two, one, and switching sides. He's really good at timing this. And go. Even the whole time. Nice. Remind yourself to press your weight up to the sky. If the dumbbell you have at home is too heavy, you can always take a water bottle or just your hand to practice keeping that arm as straight as possible in line with your ears. Good. 10 seconds. Good. Time. Nice. Beautiful. All right. Hop down, forearm position. And you're going to rotate with a side plank hip dip, starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Good. Nice. Again, Watson's adding that top foot off the ground. If you want to try it, give yourself a little bit of a challenge. You can also come into a modified position, too, where you're going to stay on the ground. Up and down on the torso. Good. We're going to add 10 more seconds to this movement. I think 40 is ideal, right? Right. Yeah. Good. You have 15 seconds to go. Nice, five seconds. And time, beautiful, all right, here we go. Let's move it into round number three. Back on your backs, chest press with the leg raise. All right, let's do it, here we go. Ready, on your marks, get set, and let's do it. What size dumbbells are you using today, Watson? 40. 40 pound dumbbells. I think 40s are generally pretty light for this guy out here. But there's a lot.
lot of pressure on him to perform today. <laughs> and pace. Yep, pace yourself. Good, 20 seconds. What's that saying? You're not only the president, but you're also a client. What was that hair commercial hair club for men? Good, five more seconds. Let's go, 15 more seconds.
dip. Three, two, one, and let's go. Good. One dip. Beautiful. You can always add two dips in if you want. Nice job. Good. Again, this is 30 seconds. We have 15 to go. Nice. 10 seconds. Good, three, two, one, and time, sorry. All right, take a quick sip of water if you need it. We're moving into our next block. I'm confused between which one I'm looking at. Can you tell me what our next movement is? Time is the half Oh, beautiful, all right. So you can have one or two dumbbells on this one. So I don't know, maybe you wanna start with one dumbbell, two, side lunge position. So he's gonna step out to the side, opposite hand is going to reach towards that opposite foot and then he's going to high pull as he comes back up. So we're going to stay on the same side and then switch. Okay, all right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. We think in 30 seconds a side? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. Good. 
three, two, one, and time. Beautiful, all right, that's round number one. Start of round number two. All right, back to the top. Grab your dumbbell, side lunge, high pull. Starting in three, two, one, and let's do it. Go. Again, his dumbbell is in his right hand. He's stepping out to the left. When he gets to the top position, he's using that momentum from the leg drive to add in a high pull. Mind yourself, elbows are gonna be higher than the wrists on this one. Good, 10 more seconds. Nice, and switching side, second side. Yep, there you go. The other side. Good, please feet step out. As your legs start to warm up, you can get farther and farther. Good, nice. Coming closer to the ground, it's a little harder to push yourself up the farther that leg goes out. So be mindful of that. We have about eight seconds to go. Good, last rep. Three, two, one, and time. Beautiful, all right. Let's drop down on your hands with your dumbbells. We're going to take a little crawl forward, four steps and back. Watson started forward, so he's probably going to start in his plank jack position and then go backwards. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Nice. Four plank jacks, and then he's going to go backwards. One, two, three, and four. Goal is to try to keep those hips square to the ground as much as possible. Little to no twisting of the hips. Walking on the toes, slight bend in the knee, you need it. We're going 40 seconds, you're already more than halfway. 15 seconds to go. Good job, 10 seconds. Nice, five seconds. And time. Beautiful job. All right, let's do it. Dead bug position. On your back, take your one dumbbell. Feet up, hips down. And we're rotating the overhead press. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. So he's going out towards the right ear and then towards the left ear. Alternating sides. Light bend in those elbows. Good, take your time. Keep that low back pinned to the ground. Nice, you have 15 seconds to go. Good, 10 seconds. And time, beautiful, all right. Let's Get up, round number three. Grab your dumbbell, side lunge, high pull, starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Good, big step out, high pull, nice. Use that momentum from the standing up position to get that elbow up to the sky. Good, you can add in that leg balance too. Feels good, right? Does. Good, 10 more seconds on this side. Crack, crack, crack. Time, switching sides, here we go. Ready, three, two, one, and let's go. Good job, nice. Watson's keeping his chest up, pinching his hips, sticking that butt out as he goes down. You have 10 more seconds. He's bringing that knee up, foot is flexed. Five seconds. Nice, and time, beautiful job. All right, here we go, back down. Dumbbells in hand, plank position, four steps forward, four steps back. 
plank jacks on either end. Here we go, starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Good, one, two, three, four, beautiful, and step backwards again. You can go little steps. If you have a hardwood floor, just be extra careful on your marches, forward and back. If you have neighbors downstairs, kids on their Zoom calls. Good job, nice. 15 more seconds. Good, nice job, Watson. You have five more seconds. Teach 
that time too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go to each. Three, two, one, time. All right. Watson. Demo the. You finisher. ready for the finisher? Yeah. I've seen you drink the water, but you never remember your water bottle. So don't get a drink of water. All right. So we're moving on to the finisher, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So first movement is going to be a plank row. Beautiful. Then he's going to hop up. He's going to clean it. He's going to squat and press it. This is like half of a band, right? right. This is. I was going to come up with something, but nothing was coming out. <laughs> a boy maker. A boy maker. A boy maker. Yeah, just don't reveal your gender, right, right, please. Right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Happy finisher time. Good. Clean it, squat, and press. Saddest thing is that when that kid is bored, that's what they're going to be known for for the rest of your life. They're like, your parents were revealing your gender and started a massive wildfire. Oh, yeah, I'm not like that. Right? Yeah. Good. Five more seconds and you get to switch sides. Woo! Oh, he had a push it. That was an accident. <laughs> it's natural. Time. Time, yep. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to let you finish. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's go. Second side. Optional if you want to add that push up in. We won't fault you. We won't penalize you. We won't even know. You won't even know. <laughs> if you're sitting there drinking your coffee and watching Watson work out, we still wouldn't know. But we hope you're doing the workout. This is the finisher. This is the best part. It means that we're almost done. You have five more seconds. And then we're on to the second movement. And the bar, this is not a burpee by any means, just so you know. Three, two, one, and time. All right, next movement is skater hops with the dumbbell pass. All right, so Watson's going to show us what that looks like. I'll take the heat if you want it back. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Ready, and let's do it. Go. Side to side. Beautiful. All right. Everyone at home, jump in. Let's go. In three, two, one, oh. and let's go. Oh, sorry. Val, I hope you were doing the push ups with Watson because, you know, he feels sad if you weren't. Well, they were rusted. Yeah. I knew that you were going to request. That's why I told him. Right. Maybe she didn't actually request and you just. No, she did. She oh. said, she'll take the heat. <laughs> Five seconds, which means she requested, she just didn't actually type it in. Right. <laughs> Three, two, one, time. All right, round number two. Here we go. The childhood maker. That's right. Yeah, there we go. Elementary. elementary school. Let's do it. Here we go. Elementary, my dear Watson. Elementary. Let's get down. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Whoa, we added the push-up in. One row, jump up, clean it, squat, and press. Beautiful. I would encourage you all at home to add those push-ups in because we don't want Watson to be the only one doing push-ups. Yeah. Only one doing everything else. Yeah. Good. Nice. Ten more seconds. So good at the push-ups. Why not do more of them? Good. And time. Switching sides. Here we go. Take a really quick rest. Reset your mind. Reset your body. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Don't tell anyone at home, but this is our little trick. You just drop right down into the push-up. Right? It makes it easier. I mean, you have to watch the mark there. You're going to bounce up too. Relatively speaking, right? Extra bounce there. Good. Eight more seconds. Good. Time. All right. Here we go. Skater hop with the dumbbell pass. If you don't have a dumbbell or you have a kettlebell, you can use a water bottle. I wouldn't recommend using your kid, though. Okay. Here we go. Starting in three, two, one, and let's go. Passing back and forth. Nice. 
Good. 20 more seconds. Nice. Watch your low back. Try to not fold over. Keep your chin up. Chest up. Good. Try to not put that back foot down. Pulse on your glutes a little bit more. Good. Let's go. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Time. Okay. One more round. Sound good? Last and final. All right. Minute per side. I mean, 30 seconds per side. <laughs> Three, two, one, and let's go. Two minutes. Two minutes of. Take the next two days off. I know, right? That'd be a Gina move. Let's go 90 seconds aside. It's just Watson. It's just Watson. He can do it. A minute aside. A minute aside. Good. Almost there on this side. You have 10 more seconds. day. Thank you, Watson, for taking one for the team, getting out there, demoing all those moves for us. We'll see you tomorrow.